Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I just wanted to share with you my first ever candle day haul. <laughs> this is my first candle day from Bath and Body Works and I'm really excited for the candles that I got. I wanted to have this video up over the weekend but my mom was still here visiting so I we weren't home and I didn't get to film. But uh, anyway, yeah, candle day, my very first one was, was awesome, it was fun. I didn't get to go to my uh, favorite store that I like to go to because I was across town. So I ended up having to go to a different Bath & Body Works store than I normally go to, but it was great. I got there at about 5.40, they were going to open at 6 a.m. The line wasn't terrible, I was like third person in line. There ended up being about 15 of us, um, you know, by the time they opened the doors. More people obviously started showing up, but we did good showing up when we did. I was in and out in, you know, relatively good time. And I did two separate transactions. I had a, a 15 off 40 and then a 20% off coupon. So that was the two coupons that I used. So, and obviously I bought more than, you know, the $40. Um, so uh, some of my candles ended up being $7.88 and some ended up being $7.16. And I also had the coupon for a free item up to $13 um, with a $10 purchase. So I was able to use that also. And I got, with that, I got the Hot Cocoa and Cream Body Lotion. So that was nice. It smells really good. Really happy to have that. And yeah, let me go ahead and show you my candles. I don't want this video to be too long. So um, yeah, I won't go into too much detail about these. Most of most people already are familiar with these candles anyway. I also did one online order because I wanted pink petal tea cake because I only have like one left from last year. So I did make an order for uh, six of those online um, the night before the uh, candle day. Uh, I was able to get those. And one I have one French baguette also in that online order. So anyway, let me go ahead and show you what I got. Uh, the first one, I wanted to get this one. This is the Low Profile Pumpkin Vanilla. And the reason I wanted to get this is because I saw someone mention that this is um, pumpkin pie, which is a scent that Bath & Body Works had out a while back and people seem to really like it and I wanted to try it. So I got this and when I just take the lid off, it's white wax, uh, three wick. When I take the lid off, you can instantly smell that rich, spicy pumpkin pie scent. It smells really, really good. I don't know. On cold, I can't really say if I get like a crust note, but I'll be anxious to see when I warm it if I get a crust note. But it smells so good, just like real pumpkin pie filling. I love it. So I'm, I'm gonna enjoy that one. Okay, the next one I got is Party Dress. And I'm not gonna take the lids off all of them because um, most of them are just the white wax, but you'll be able to see if um, they're a different colored wax on some of them. But it's the white wick, uh, white wick, <laughs> white wax three wick, and I'll show you the scent notes. Apparently, this is a very popular one. It hasn't been out since 2013. There's the scent description, and this uh, is a little outside my, you know, normal. Yeah, it's kind of perfumey. Uh, it smells nice, but I probably just you know got this to keep in my collection because I don't know if I'll really burn it because smelling it is might be a little too perfumey for me but it's pretty it is a very pretty scent and it's very popular from what I understand so I was glad to get one of those I didn't get Mary Cookie on this trip because I do have um, two two or three from previous hauls so I didn't really need feel the need to get any Mary Cookie on this candle day but I did want to pick up a crushed candy cane and the cute sweater packaging. I think it's adorable. And it smells so, so, so good. If I get my thumb out of the way so you can see the scent description. It smells just like those after dinner butter mints. It smells so good. So I got that. Really, really love that. Okay, let's see, next one. I got, I think I got two of these. Uh, so this is one of my gooey marshmallows. It smells so good. It's very, it smells similar to me to the vanilla bean marshmallow candle. It smells similar, but different enough. And it smells stronger too. Like it might be pretty strong. So love that. Okay. Then I have one of these from a, a haul from before and I liked it enough to get another one. And this is the orange 
chocolate truffle. It smells just like those Terry oranges that you smash, those chocolate orange candies um, that you smash and eat in sections. I really like it. So, got that. It smells so, so good. I love any kind of like orange chocolate anything. <clears throat> this is something new, um, you know, not within my normal wheelhouse, but I heard enough people talk about how much they liked it to where I wanted to get one to try, and it is cinnamon pine cone. I love the iridescent jar. <laughs> it's kind of pretty. There's the scent notes. And, yeah, this one smells good. I'm, I'm not, like, really into pine and spruce and all that, but some I can handle. Some are, are nice, and if they're realistic, I can definitely handle it when the weather's cool out. This one smells good. You don't get a lot of the cinnamon uh like it's not red hot cinnamon um it's just like a bakery cinnamon and you definitely get that pine scent and almost like a wood note to it i really like it so i'm going to enjoy this hopefully we will get some more cold weather because that's when scents like that smell the best to me so i was excited to get that then i always wanted to try this one it is blueberry sugar it's got a pretty blue wax i love that blue wax Smells really good. I, I love blueberry scents. I know a lot of my friends don't, but I love, love blueberry. And there's the scent notes. And this one. Oh yeah, it's a real nice blueberry. It's not like a it's not like normal blueberry scents. It's almost like a gosh, it's hard to describe. It is like a like a cream saver blueberry type smell. I don't know if yeah, I can't say I really get like a graham cracker note yet, but maybe it'll come out when I warm it. So we will see. Okay, so that is the first slat. Let me get out the second layer. <clears throat> I went a little crazy, but I figured, you know, these are all the candles that I'm going to need for all of next year. So that's how I rationalized it. <laughs> Plus at these prices, right? Okay, I couldn't resist the campsite coffee. Look at that cute label. I love it. And of course, I love anything coffee as well. Here is the scent notes. And this smells really good. Oh, like nice strong coffee and you do get like a slight bakery note to it. I love it. That is so good. Love that. Um, here's my other gooey marshmallow. You saw one of these from before. Then I got the sugared snickerdoodle to try and I'll show you the scent description on the lot yeah it smells really really good love my bakery scents and that one does smell like a nice bakery cinnamon but it's not too heavy on the bakery cinnamon and um, yeah maybe like a I don't know like a buttercream cookie-ish scent it's, it's interesting I'll be um, interested to see how that one is on burning and then I got two balsam and firewood. This smells really, really good. It, I like this one because it's not too heavy on each of those fragrances. It's not too heavy on the balsam. It's not too heavy on the firewood. Uh, it's just a nice balance between the two of them. It's like a sweet firewood note, and the balsam is just, just enough. It's not too overpowering. Oh, that smells so good. So yeah, so I liked it enough on cold to get two. There's my second one. Okay. Oh, and then also they gave out coupons. Um, so I got this coupon good through December 20th through 24th. Another free, free gift with $10 purchase. Only this one is a free gift up to $16.50. So that was very nice. Next candle I got, another one that I've always wanted to try, and that is the Limoncello. This smells so good on cold. Nice tart, but sweet lemon. And I, I hope it's strong. It smells like it could be very, very strong. Scent description, I love that. And I got one of these last year and I really liked it, so I picked up another one. And it is the White Mint Latte. I love anything mint. I love chocolate and mint. Um, just mint, doesn't matter. I love it all. <laughs> and there's your scent notes. I love the color of this wax. It is, it's like a mint ice cream color wax. I love it. So pretty. Okay. 
Then I won't show you all three of them because they're they you know it's just the same candle, but I got three of these creamy nutmeg. This smells so so good. I got this in the wallflower. And I just love the scent. I love anything like nutmeg, chestnuts. I love all those type of scents. And I'll show you the scent description. And I think they had this one out last year too. But it just smells so good. I don't get a lot of cinnamon, which is fine with me. You do get a hint of it, but not a lot. Oh, that smells so good. You do definitely get a creamy nutmeg scent. Um, and I love, love the scent of nutmeg. nutmeg. And this one is, is pretty authentic. I love it. Yeah. Oh, I'm so glad I got three of these. <laughs> so I got three of those. Yeah, I won't take the other two out. You don't need to see the other two. They're the exact same. So, next load. Get this chair closer. Okay. Of course, I had to try mint chocolate. See how it compares to the other mint chocolate scents I got. And this one is also that really pretty, like, mint green wax. Oh my gosh, that smells good. You get more of the chocolate in this than you do in the white mint latte, which I don't know if the white mint latte is really supposed to have chocolate in it anyway. I, I, uh, <laughs> I know I just showed the scent description on that one, but I can't remember what it said. But here's the one on this one. You definitely get the chocolate and the mint very nicely in this one. Love it. Okay, then I got the peppermint marshmallow. Label is super cute. This is also, this is even lighter, like a lighter mint green color. It's pretty. I like the lids too. The lids are real pretty. It's cute. And so the description. Yep, very, very good. It smells so good. Okay, then I got, I think I got two of these. Butter rum eggnog. It smells so good. I think I'm going to burn one of these tonight. I can't wait to try it out. So, so good. It smells authentic, like authentic eggnog. Not too spicy, which is good because I don't want like a cinnamon type scent to take over the whole blend. I want to be able to, you know, smell the butter, um, eggnog, the butter. You don't really get butter rum per se. I don't get a boozy note, but I do love the authentic eggnog scent. So good. Oh, that's pretty. And you definitely get the nutmeg in this too. And it's a different kind of nutmeg from the creamy nutmeg candle. This one is sweeter and the one in the creamy nutmeg is more Savior, say, well, I can't talk today. Savory. <laughs> not that it's um, not a sweet candle, but the creamy nutmeg is not like a real, real sweet uh, candle. It's just a nice, smooth, creamy scent. This is definitely sweeter, but it's so good. It smells just like eggnog. So I was glad to have that. I'm pretty sure I got two of those. Okay, then I got a gelato. And I wasn't sure what to expect with this because I'd never tried this candle before. Here's the scent description. I guess I was um, expecting, I don't know, something like a more ice cream rich, but you know, milky type scent. But, and this is that pretty like mint colored green wax again. But, yeah, it's sort of like, um, <laughs> it's it smells kind of like candy. It almost smells like sweet tarts to me on cold. I definitely get almost like a, I don't know, almost like a, I don't want to say honeydew melon, but there's, I don't know, there's something in it. It's like a candy, sweet tart type scent, but I do like it. But um, yeah, I'm, I guess I was expecting more of like an ice cream type scent or a rich dairy type scent, but I don't really get that from this, but it is nice and I'll look forward to, to burning it. Okay, just a few more to go. Okay, I got one of the Lo Love Rose and Vanilla and this smells really good. People, you know, say it's similar to like Pink Petal Tea Cake, but heavier on the rose. I think Tina Delicious said that and he's absolutely correct. This is definitely heavier on the rose than the vanilla. 
I like it. Um, I don't do a lot of florals, but I do love authentic rose scents, and this one is really pretty. I think I still like Pink Petal Tea Cake better, <laughs> but I do really like this one too, and I'm going to enjoy this. Love it. Love. <laughs> yeah, it smells super good. And then I got one Cherry Frost. Here's the scent notes. I don't know if I really get any juniper in it or ginger per se, but oh, that's so good. It's like, the, it's like you smell the cherry. It's almost like the same cherry that's in the uh, cherry snow cone, but it's almost like a hint of if you've ever smelled Bath and Body Works vanilla snowflake, it almost has that type of scent in the background with, with the cherry. Yeah, that's totally what I get from this and it smells really, really nice. I might have to get some more of these. I like that. Yeah, it's very refreshing. Yeah, oh, I love it. Very refreshing scent. That is so good. Okay, and last one. Red Velvet Cupcake. And this is a very nice red wax, just like the color of the cake. Here is the scent description. And yeah, that smells so good. You definitely get the hint of cocoa. You get that cream cheese icing, which I love that type of scent. Love it. Um, I cannot wait to burn this one too. And I have a feeling I'm gonna need another one of these. So yeah, I see that on the horizon for sure. <laughs> okay, is that it? Did I show everything? I showed everything. Okay, yeah, I think that's it, guys. I think that's all the damage I did. Not too bad, right? <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you were able to get everything that you wanted to on Candle Day. This was my very first one. I was so nervous. I wasn't sure what to expect, how crazy it was going to be, but it really wasn't bad. Um, I am willing to get up early like that for something like this, and I'm glad I did because from what I heard, a lot of uh, things online sold out pretty quick and a lot of the you know, popular scents in store were selling out pretty quick too, so yeah. So anyway, thanks so much guys. Have a wonderful day and I will see you on my next video. Bye-bye.